Hello, 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 and welcome to Tuck's Take, brought to you by the best in the business, PlaySugarHouse.com. Three and one last week gets us to 31, 19, and two. Let's see if we can keep that motorcade rolling. Over the past few years, the focus has been on these dynamic offenses, and deservedly so. From Peyton Manning's 50 touchdown season with the Broncos to the Chiefs, Rams, and of course the New Orleans Saints of this season. It's been a fun ride. More often than not, it's one of these amazing offenses that ends up making an appearance in the Super Bowl. The ingredient that often turns these teams into champions is a playmaker or two on defense, though. When the defense can play complementary ball, I, I kind of imagine the defense wanting so badly to do their part when the offense is crushing souls on a weekly basis. Case in point, the New Orleans Saints. Their offense, seemingly unstoppable. Whether it's Alvin Kamara, Mark Ingram, Drew Brees, and Michael Thomas, they can just beat you in so many ways. And while that's scary for opposing teams, it's the emerging defense that might give Drew Brees and Sean Payton their second championship. Defensive end Cameron Jordan is at times the best player on the field. He's consistently in the opposing backfield, destroying the design play. He's not alone on defense either. A bevy of players have stepped up to help the Saints defense emerge into what is now a formidable unit. In fact, over the last three games, the Saints defense has only allowed a total of 38 points. But if you look closer, it's even better than that. Since he was down 51-7 before scoring a garbage touchdown with four minutes left, and the Falcons were down 24-3 late in the third, and then 31-10 late in the fourth, all this is my way of saying, I think the Dallas Cowboys might just be overmatched this week. Now, I love what the Cowboys are doing on defense. And relying on Zeke on offense has opened up things for Dak Prescott and in turn, Amari Cooper. For the first time in a while, this Cowboys team looks pretty good. But again, this week, on paper, and they don't play on paper, I know, it's just not a fair fight. New Orleans looks like a wrecking ball. And if my Papa Sai, my grandfather, taught me anything, it was don't get in the way of a wrecking ball. Good advice. Give me the Saints. Until next time, I'm David Tuckman. Enjoy the game, and good luck.